So in my last recording, I spoke about Llama Index's workflow feature. And this is the uh, example that I use to explain how workflow feature works in uh, Llama Index. Today, I'll show you how you can integrate MEM0, which is a memory feature developed by mem0.ai, how you can integrate that with workflow. So whenever a conversation happens between two persons, um, let's say travel assistant and a traveler, the travel assistant or the travel agent um, through the memory component will be able to uh, remember the user preferences, past interactions and all. I have done this earlier with Langref. That is also their um, uh, one of the recording as one of the recording. Today, I wanted to show it using uh, the workflow feature of uh, Llama Index. Right. So what we, the what we'll uh, see is it's uh, next slide. Let me explain this. So it's a conversation between a fictitious travel agent and a traveler. So the travel agent. So the, the workflow will contain two steps. The first step is travel agent. The response of the travel agent will be an event to the memory agent, which is the next step. And the memory agent will, the one that will push the interactions into MEM0's hosted uh, uh, memory platform, right? Let's go to the code and then see it. But before going to the code, let me also show you how the hosted environment looks like for me right now. So there is no memory right now. The memory is empty. There is no conversation happened. Right? Let me go to the code now. So this uh, example I directly added to the MEM0's cookbook and uh, uh, created a pull request to add it as part of the MEM0's uh, uh, GitHub repo so that uh, others can also take a look at it. Uh, but to do that, I had to actually make some uh, changes in the TUML file also, by project TUML file. Uh, hope MEM0 will uh, accept these changes. So first of all, I saw that uh, current MEM0 was using 3.8 Python version. For Langra, for Llama index uh, workflow, you need uh, uh, like 3.8 will not work. Right? You need a higher version. And 3.8 is also going to be deprecated this October of this year, right? So I suggested to upgrade to 3.11 and I added some optional dependencies, right? So uh, the optional dependencies, um, because like you probably will not need it for all your use cases. If you put it as non-optional, then unnecessarily you are uh, making your package more uh, bulky, right? So that's why you added this as an optional dependency and added them uh, in the extras. So when you install, you can, if you do a poetry install, all extras, then only this will get installed. But if you just say poetry install, only the non-optional packages will get installed. So this is the change that I have pushed already. Let me go to the code now and show you what I did. Right. Um, so these are, the packages, the workflow package. Uh, I am importing the memory client, mem0's memory client, creating an instance of the memory client with the mem0 API key. Uh, in the last recording, I showed how to get the API key. You can create a um, uh, profile and then um, you can go into the API keys to get your key, right? Uh, mem0.ai is where you will go to create your profile, right? So this is the client that I have created. This is a fictitious user. This is my memory event. The memory event has the query and the response, right? This is what I'll create as part of the travel agent and pass it to the memory agent. How I'm doing it is like this. So travel assistant in the class. My first step is the travel agent, which takes the start event. So if you look at my previous recording. Start event is a start event and stop event are two uh, built-in events within Llama index workflow. 
So when you uh, annotate or when you put the start event as one of the step, that is the entry point for the workflow, right? And uh, so when I'll, I'll interact with the travel assistant, um, I will actually pass the query in the event. So I'll take the query. Memory, I'll first touch, uh, I'll first search mem0 to see for this query and for the user, for this user, do I have a existing memory, right? If I have an existing memory, that memory uh, content will come here. Then this is my prompt. You are a helpful travel agent. You provide vacation and travel consulting services to your customers. Um, you must be inquisitive and like a friend to your customer, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, the formatted message. This is where I'm adding if there are any past memories, right? This is where I'm adding the memory that I got here, right? And finally, I'm creating my final prompt with the prompt, the query that I'll get from the user and the past memory, if there is any past memory, right? And then I will create my response by passing this prompt to the LLM. Then I'll return the memory event, right? The memory event, as I showed you earlier, has a query and a response attribute. This memory event will then get passed to my memory agent. The memory agent will capture the query, capture the response from the event. And this is the mem0 client it will add it to the, so it will extract the user preference from the query and the response and add it to the to the memory store, right? And the memory agent is my stop agent, right? This is my uh, async main program, which calls the travel assistant and workflow and runs the workflow, right? Let's let's run it now, right? So, and, and this is the, this is how I'm calling the main program, right? So let me run. Memory event. So we will. So right now the memory is empty, right? This is empty. So I'll say, I, I want to go to Darjeeling. That is a place I really want to visit. I have not visited it yet. Okay. So let's see what it does. I'm so glad to hear that you are interested in visiting Darjeeling. It's such a beautiful destination with its stunning tea gardens and breathtaking views of Himalayas, right? So it is giving me some response. Let's see what is there in the memory now. So the memory captured that the user wants to go to Darjeeling. I'll say I am also interested in good food, particularly non vegetarian food this suggest me some good places to eat right so now it is so this is another preference i gave right so if you see now what it will do is it will give me a list of restaurants and this is all coming from its parametric knowledge right now um, you can pin it with your context as well but it gave me some suggestions, right? And let's see what memory it stored, right? So if I see now, interest in good food, particularly non-vegetarian food, right? So these are the preferences that it captured in my first con con uh, conversation. Let me exit out of that conversation. And let me run it again. And then now what we'll do is we'll see if it remembers the user preference. I'll say, hi, I want to visit Kalimpong. That's another beautiful place. I have not visited yet. And would like to try some food there. Can you please suggest? some good places to eat. Let's see if it remembers that I asked for non-vegetarian food, right? Ah, I remember that you're interested in good food, particularly non-vegetarian food, right? So it actually now is getting the memory back and able to understand my preference and give the answers. And if I look at the memory, it should have the Kalimpong thing now also. So interesting in trying food in Kalimbang wants to visit Kalimbang, right? It is capturing 
this, right? The categories, if you see food, travel, travel, food, right? So this is how um, I have integrated it with uh, the workflow feature of uh, Lama Index. That's all I wanted to show as part of this recording. Thank you.